In this video we're going to have a look to see how we can make this layout using Oxygen Builder, image on the left, product information in the middle, and then the option to buy and to add to your basket on the right hand side. Then what we'll also then have is the tabbed content, the related products, and you may also like products. So <clears throat> just to see how that compares, if we have a look at the Beanie for example, this is the standard WooCommerce layout. So we're going to go from that layout to this layout and we'll also see how to apply a template to a specific category. So only the products in specific categories then take on the theme layout. So in this case only hoodies have this layout and at the moment beanies and all the other products on the website that are not in that category will have the standard layout. So to get started then, um, let's head over to the back end. And what we're going to do now is we're going to head over and create a new template in Oxygen and targeting that specific category. So head over to Templates. And now we're going to create a new product single template. So add new template. Let's call it product single. And let's have a look at the category that the beanie is in. It's in accessories. And let's call that accessory so we're going to create that we'll go with main singular so singular we look for products and we select products and now what we need to do here is only apply if taxonomized as all of the following and to do that we'll just head over into there look for accessories we see it's the product categories, accessories, and we're going to change the template priority there to one. And now we are finished. And now we're going to edit with Oxygen. So with Oxygen loaded, we'll start now creating the layout. The first thing I'm going to do is add two sections. The top section will be for the product uh, information, and the second section will be for the uh, related products and also bought products and the tab content so let's have a look now and see first thing we're going to do then in the top one is just change the spacing so we'll go to size and spacing and we'll just make that 15 pixels all around in the padding and we're also going to change the paint page width there to full width then we're going to head over to add WooCommerce and we're going to add the product builder and just to make it easier we're also going to add the make sure that the beanie with logo is the product that loads up that's the picture that we have at the moment and that's what we're going to work with to change so inside the product builder then we're going to start customizing that so what i'm going to do now is add columns so we'll head over to three columns and i'm going to change the the columns here and I'm going to change the width of the first one we're going to make that 40% the second one we're going to make 40% and the last one will then be 20% and so these are within the product builder and now what I'm going to do in the first one is I'm going to add the featured image so let's go back to add we go back to WooCommerce and we look for product images and what I'm going to do in the layout is we're going to say vertically left so any thumbnails will appear on the left hand side the next thing I'm going to do is set up the um, some more product information and here we're going to do the product title right the product title and let's just drop down the size to 30 and the font weight let's make that uh, 600 and what I'm going to do now is add another product element and this time I'm going to add the product info information and this is the additional information and we'll change that heading as well so the font size there down to 20 right so there we have the title of the product and just to give it some space let's just make some space below it of 20 pixels and then on the right hand side we're going to add the WooCommerce elements for the add to basket. So 
so let's have a look at that the product card button what we're also going to do is add the uh, product meta and we'll also add the product stock so we'll do all those kind of admin things on the right hand side and the stock will just move that up above the product meta so there we have the basic layout of our page and then what we're going to do now is you'll see that we added this section here below for the related products but what we actually want to do is add that inside the product builder so I'm going to add a div and that div I'm going to change the width because I actually want it to fit in the middle of the page so I'm going to change the width here to 100% and the max width to 1 to 100 and then to get it centered we put the left auto and we make the right auto so there we have our product uh, related products to fit in the middle of the page and now I'm going to head back to WooCommerce and I'm going to scroll down and go with related products and then I'm going to add another item and that will be product upsells and what I also need to do now is add the tab content so scroll up here product tabs so I'll just open that div and I'm going to move the product tabs to the top so there we have the product tabs, the related products, and then the product upsells that will appear below that. Now, here we have the tabs with the, the title. In this case, description already exists. So I don't want the description there. So I'm going to go into headings and put the font size to zero. And now you'll see that we no longer have that duplication. Right, then uh, let's head back and into the content then let's add some padding of let's say 15 pixels and now you'll see that the text fits nicely within that area right let's save that and have a look and see what that looks like on the front end so that's what the beanie did look like and we'll refresh that and now you'll see that the beanie didn't change even though we asked that that happen so let's just head back to our template and head over to singular and we've said that we need to hit that tick box now when we head back to the front end and refresh you'll see that the template does in fact still not apply <coughs> if that happens head back to your template and change the priority and we just change that to a 2 and now when we refresh the page you'll see that it applies so there we have our beanie beanie with logo and then the add to cart information here we have the tab information the related products and we don't have any upsells at the moment so let's just add a bit more styling you'll also see now that with a single image and without the t the the thumbnails it does look really big so if we just have a look here you'll see that with the thumbnails it does look a lot nicer but without the thumbnails it does look a bit big so we can change that we'll head over back into oxygen here oxygen loaded we're just going to quickly have a look here and I'm going to hide that panel so you can see it is quite large so let's show that so maybe what we'll do then is we'll make the first column with 30% and save and now when we have a look at our beanie is it look a little bit better with the kind of a as a smaller product that's the one way of doing it the other way of doing it is to leave that at 40% and what we do then is we go into the section so we go into the section we go to size and spacing and what we do is we increase the padding inside let's make that 60 so we're just making the padding a little bit wider on the sides and now when we have a look at the beanie the beanie will still have then the original size image but it will just have a bit more padding on the left and the right so up to you how you would like to do that now let's have a look at the mobile view 
So we look at the mobile view and you'll see that we have quite a bit of extra space now that we can get rid of. So what we'll do now is go into the section and let's just set the padding to zero and the padding at the top to zero and the padding at the bottom to zero. So now you have this nice wide view on the page. And what we can also do now is head down to the related products and just start doing a bit of styling there. So under related products, what we're going to do now, we'll go to uh, the title and let's put that in the middle. Let's change the font weight. Doesn't have to be that big. And the font size, we'll drop that down to 30 and the line height 1.2. And we'll do the same in the next section, which was for upsell products. So in the product upsells, also we'll do 30 font weight of 600. We'll put that in the center and the line height of 1.2. Now let's just have a look at that in mobile view. So in the mobile view now, you'll see related products looks a little bit better. And the upsells, if they were visible, would also look a bit better. So Let's save that. Let's head over to the front end now. And you'll see related products. And if I was to inspect that for the mobile view, let's just do that. Then you'll see that we have our uh, information nicely laid out on the page. Scroll down, related products. Right, so there we have a very nicely laid out um, idea if you would like to add some spacing here or change the formatting what we can do is head over back to the page head over to the item and here what we'll do is we'll just align everything in the middle so what we'll do is we'll go to links and we'll change the alignment to the center there you see the links to the center the price current price will also center that so now we have the prices in the center and the strike through price will also make that in the center. So there we have those items centered and we'll do the same thing on the product upsells. So head over to links, put that in the middle and then head over to price, current price, put that in the middle and the strike through price will also just align that in the center that may not be necessary. We'll save that and then what we'll also do is in the related products, we're just gonna give it a slight border so let's just um, in the layout here and that's the column inner padding so let's just make that if we do that you'll see it adjusts there and that's not what we want to do what we actually want to do um, is align that in the middle make that four but then under advanced we're just going to make that 10 on the side 10 on the side so that in mobile view when you scroll down, we'll head over to primary, we'll head over to layout, and we're gonna make that a two. So now you'll just have a little bit of a border on the left and right. So now I'm gonna head over to my beanie page. We're gonna refresh, and now you'll see it just looks a little bit better with the padding on the side and everything in the center. Let's head back to the page as normal, and then I'm going to edit the product. And I'm just going to do some upsells there. So inside the product, scroll down, head over here to link products. And under upsells, let's just put in uh, some hoodie. So we'll do that hoodie, another hoodie. We'll add a belt. I think there's a belt. There's a belt, and let's also add in a T-shirt. Right, so those are, we'll update, we'll view the product, and you'll see that the upsells are also in place. So we scroll down, and there you see you may also like which is the upsell. Now you'll notice here that the related products are squashed in, they don't fit all the way across, and the reason for that, very simple, we just need to set the width of that content element to 100%. So related products, 
advanced size and spacing and let's set that to 100% and we'll do the same for product upsells just in case there aren't four product upsells head over to advanced size and spacing and we'll also do the width there of 100% save refresh the page and you'll now see that the related product size wise are correct and there's you may also like Right, well, that's how easy it is then to uh, create that layout. So similar to the hoodie, where we have the this layout. And here we've created a similar layout then for the beanie. So that's how easy it is to customize and change the layouts according to what you might need. Hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching.